Mrs. Travis. What time does your flight leave? <laughs> soon. Not soon enough, but soon. Now you want to get back to your children, I know, and I'm sure they're anxious to see their mommy again. They are, so she wouldn't mind. It's just that I, I wanted to say I'm sorry that we were so rough on you the other day. You're probably wondering why I didn't stay and protect my little sister. Is that it? I'm sorry. Wait, please don't go. I, please. Did you know that you have a little half-sister? She's 10. You know what's going to happen to her. No. The same thing that happened to you, Mrs. Travis. It was her drama, not mine. Please, Mrs. Travis, just listen to me. It's your drama, too. Now, please, we can help. I have to go. Just one more day in a lifetime. being a little girl in his house. Don't even think of touching me. I, I, I only Only want... what? Only want to make you feel better? Can we use this? Let's just see where it goes. You bastard. You cowardly, disgusting, sick. Bastard. Ellie, honey, sweetie pie. Shut up. Is that what you call your new one? Your little sweetie pie? Give daddy a taste of that sweet pie. Is that what you think you'll do? I don't know what you're talking about. No? You killed Susie. How's that? You killed her. Listen, I, uh... Talk to the police, and uh... I, I wasn't anywhere near the city on that night. Not that night. Not the other night. Ellie, yeah, I, um, I think you're making a rather costly mistake. <laughs> the trust fund. <laughs> Is that what you're threatening me with, Daddy? Stick it up your ass. You know what Susie called it? Blood money. From the first time she bled when you held her down. Okay. Just like you held me down. All right, that's enough. I mean, it's ancient histories. Let it rest. I've got news for you, Daddy. It's not ancient history. That woman detective you met, I met her too. She convinced me to stay, and guess what? She says that if I remember things now, a judge in New Jersey will tell my story to a grand jury. Okay, listen, listen, honey, please. Look, I, I've got a new family. I know. That's why it's all come back up, just as if it happened yesterday, which is how it feels to me every day of my life. What is that? Well, my sister wrote this. Uh, she mailed it to Denver, and my husband, whom you'll never meet, faxed it to me here. Would you like me to read it to you? No, what good would it do? Do me some good! And Susie. Gretchen Quinn. Born Susan Sadarsky. A frequent contributor to the New York Ledger committed suicide Monday night. She hopes her death will point an accusing finger at the men responsible. In the end, nothing appealed to Miss Quinn. No food, book, or person. She couldn't stand the sound of her thoughts or the touch of her own skin. What is this? Susie's obituary. She wrote it herself. She is survived <laughs> by her ex-boyfriend, Dallas Warner, who was perfect except for the wife and four kids, by Dr. Mark Daniels, the therapist, who knew her inside and out, literally and biblically, and last but not least, Robert Sadarsky. Her father. 
Oh, come on! Oh, her right. father! Please. Come. Who took away her childhood, her virginity, her sense no. of safety and fairness in the world? LA. Cause of death was from a fall, self-inflicted. She was 32. Thank <laughs> you.